Hi guys, I'm here with one of the official candidates of Mr. Grand Philippines 2023, Red. Hi Red! Hello po! Alright, sige. Batin mo ng ating uh, subscribers and followers sa pageant trend. Hello po sa mga subscribers at followers ng pageant trend. Uh, Supportan niyo po sa darating na pageant. Sa darating na pageant. Mr. Grand. Mr. Grand Philippines. Red, kamusta ka naman? I'm doing good po. Uh, been preparing or been training. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly kasi ng training ko is working out tapos focus sa QA. So before ka nag-decide na mag-join sa Mr. Grand Philippines, ano yung pinagkakaabalahan mo sa buhay? Um, I do modeling po. Mm -hmm. Tapos um, I do acting. Same thing po, nag-workout pa rin po ako, ito lang po ang pinag-prepare-preparean sa mm -hmm. sa trabaho. How long you been doing this? Working out or... Uh, working out, uh, doing some acting, and as well as modeling. How long? I've been doing acting since 2018. 18, so it's almost 5 years. Yes. Nice. So, so, what do you think is your advantage of joining the Mr. Grand Philippines? I wouldn't say this is my advantage. Mm -hmm. I would say I had the, I have the height. Mm -hmm. I have the I have the height. I have the I wouldn't say looks, but, mm -hmm. but definitely you have the looks. I have the looks, yeah. Pero, I think yun lang edge ko. Tapos I think I'm a model. You are I, you I'm are a model. I'm a model. Also. So you're representing uh, Quezon, City. Quezon City. Wow, the the city of stars. Right? <laughs> yes, that that what makes you pressure. But anyway, um, uh, how was your journey here? Um, uh, what are you looking forward for the Mister Grand Philippines? Uh, I'm looking forward from uh, an amazing experience, mm -hmm. brotherhood. Tingin ko siguro makaka-help po ito sa confidence ko kasi super baba ng confidence. Uh -huh. Huwag ka pang hinangin loob. You have the looks and you have the guts. Hindi mo palang na ilalabas. Anyway, Red, so you are a model. You've been doing um, for almost five years as a model. So do you think um, uh, this um, modeling uh, skills will be an advantage for you to get uh, uh, far from uh, this Mr. Grand Philippines? I think the runway, mm -hmm. or if there's any runway games here, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. I have definitely made it on oh. I definitely have an edge when it comes to walking. This is my job. And I'm going to adjust when I'm going to do choreography. And I don't know if I can say that it's an advantage like Q&A since it's a big deal. But the way I project, the way I talk, it's probably the way that it's going to be. Alright, what's your height? 5'11". 5'11, nice. And if ever you'll be given a chance to compete international, so what do you want for international pageant? I would be honest, I have no idea kung ano mga international pageant. If ever na manalo po ako, I'm not looking. Siguro one time ko lang po itong gagawin para lumulus ako sa comfort zone. Pero I give my best. Gagawin ko kung ano mga inutis po sa akin. Saan ka mismo magpo-focus dun sa mga trainings mo? Since more on English na pag international, tama po nila. Yes, more on English. Since more English na, masasani, sinayin ko po yung sarili ko ng English. Sinayin ko po yung sarili ko mag-isip ng maayos. Sinayin ko po na, tawag dito, may pag-communicate sa tao. Do you have a camp? Or... Wala po. You are an independent candidate. Yes. So, how do you... How are you going to do some trainings? The walk mm -hmm. is manageable. I, I train for that. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be focused at it, but I think 
And my friends is helping me naman kasi sa Okay. I have a lot of friends who is a king and queens. Mm -hmm. Tapos mga nag-alaga po sa lagasin ng mga, mga kings and queens. So, madali na lang po siguro yun. So, how does it feel to be part of the Mr. Grand Philippines? Nakakagulat po. Uh -huh. Kasi, uh, sa panel po siguro, na-feel po ako ng baba. Pressure. Mm -hmm. Tapos naninigilig pa yung pao. Tapos hindi ko magsalita ng maayos. Nagulat na lang ako kasi yung text sa akin. Masok ka. Ganyan, 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 kasi hindi ko talaga alam yung ginagawa ko. Nakaka-overwhelm. How do you manage uh, kapag ano, kinakabahan ka? Anong ginagawa mo? Iisip ko na yun yung last ko. <laughs> oh, I always treat it like it's my last. Alright. So kung papipiliin ka, pageantry or uh, show business? Uh, show business ko. Ang bilis mo. Siguro po show business. To have a break, but since the craft ko, ayun to be more maingay. Do you have social media? Yes. Alright. So yes. Ready Roach. So Instagram, tapos sa Twitter po Red or Saga and TikTok Red or Saga. Wala pa ng Facebook. Alright. So dun sa mga TikTok ani mga content na ginagawa mo? Di nisan kalokohan. Yung mga uso na filter, filter. So, it's more on... Okay. So, and as well as it's more on good vibes. Opo. Tapos, sumasayaw-sayaw ako with my friends. Tapos... Gumagawa rin ako dati ng gym tiktok. Ah, okay. Ginilip ko lang kasi parang alit ko po dun sa akin. Siguro mabalik ko po yun pag medyo bag-bag na may katawin. Red, are you an introvert or extrovert person? Ah, I'm not an introvert. Pero, I wouldn't say na hindi ako extrovert. So, saan doon? Somewhere in between. Siguro ambivert. Ah, okay. Kasi, uminsan talaga, pagbago yung kaos yung mga tao dito sa palibot ko. I don't really like talking, pero hindi ako nahihiya sa mga. And I guess, you'll not, kumbaga, hindi mo ibinibigay yung full trust sa person na kausap mo. Hindi naman po siguro. I just don't want to talk. Baka may masabi akong uh -huh. controversial. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, sometimes kasi na, um, sobrang ano ko, sobrang kulit ko. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. A lot of people are saying na uh, hyper ako. So, nilesan ko na yung chat. May pag-usap. And uh, we all know that you are considered as the public figure pagdating pa lang sa mga TikTok mo, sa mga social media platforms mo. You have a lot of followers. Ah, and okay. now, Um, uh, wala ka pang followers? Meron naman. Okay. So, there's a lot, of course. It's more than... Yeah. Anyway, um, so you, you are considered as a public figure. So, uh, in social media, there's a lot of uh, toxic people and uh, some of uh, uh, them are commenting on your private uh, life, uh, uh, which is below the belt. Uh. So, how do you handle this kind of person or this kind of followers? Uh, I mean, I used to do na pumapatal talaga ako. Lalo na pag, siguro kasi bada pa ako. I'm a person na ruthless pagdating sa ganyan. Lalo na pag real picture may nakalagay doon. Pero simula nun, nung time na parang nabrush ako sa tuyo. Parang doon na ako nagkaroon ng self-reflect. Sometimes, yung mga tao talaga, hindi mo na sila need pa tulad. So, ikaw nga nila, we cannot please everyone. We cannot please everyone. Pero pag ginawa sa akin sa public, I don't know what I can do. Like, ay, joke lang, joke lang. Just kidding. Pero, yun nga, ignore. Kasi, wala naman sila kumbag sa buhay ko. Yes, and they don't know who you are. 
Anyway, thank you so much, Red, for sharing your sentiments and as well as your a little bit, uh, you know, life. Uh, and I hope you uh, did a great job on uh, your journey to Mr. Grand Philippines. And we're looking forward uh, on the national or international stage in the future. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And this has been Jay Barbo from Pageant Trend. Bye-bye.